die Herausforderung. The challenge was to develop a new machine generation with new features that would enable Boost to become the technology leader in the market, to increase sales, and to enter new markets that are closed to us today because of old machine designs. And the challenge was also to provide a high torque and to build a very well-equipped machine that's also very easy to operate, that basically supports how the operator thinks and, of course, to manufacture a super high-quality product. The toughest challenge for us as design engineers was to translate the ideas we had into a machine a machine with manufacturing costs falling in a range the previous series don't fall into. And yet no compromises can be made with regard to quality, operability, availability, and so on. What's special about the Compio series is that we united the features from several older Nieder series, the three-flight technology and the four-flight technology, into a single machine and added novel process elements. Each zone of the machine can be optimally equipped as needed by the specific processing task. We have also developed a completely new discharge extruder. This is a conical twin screw, which existed as such, but was not used as a melt pump, and no other supplier currently has this feature. This twin screw is designed to build up high pressures with very low shear. This is why we decided on this unit, so that we can process the materials effectively at a low melt temperature and so that they're not thermally damaged. When it comes to the Compio series, I'm especially proud that we've succeeded in designing a very beautiful machine that's popular with customers and the market. It offers a multitude of features that other series or vendors don't have. The Compio series consists of five sizes so far. We will round off the series with a small laboratory machine with an output range of 5 to maybe 50 kilograms per hour. The Compio series is Industry 4.0 compatible. We have a UAPC interface that can communicate with external systems. The controller itself has a data logger, which means that all data such as torque, speeds, dosing flows, heating, on-stream time, water temperatures, and error messages can be recorded. There is almost nothing that cannot be logged and analyzed later. And we have plans to extend it further. For example, a wear measurement so that you can tell the customer, watch out, now your elements are essentially so close to the limit that you have another three or four months. Remote maintenance, for example, is another option. We will have a complete instruction manual on the controller. Another expansion stage could be to say that when customers call up parts or the spare parts lists, they can directly trigger an order. That's what we're thinking of for the medium term.